Hey everyone, Brian Krupski here at Philip Chevrolet in Frankfurt. Right now we're sitting in one of our 25% off 2LZ 2015 Malibus. So right now you can see this one's got the jet black leather interior and you're going to have all of your features along the front here. This one is push button start. Now the push button start vehicles, right now I've got an accessory mode so we can kind of see everything illuminated. So to put it in an accessory mode, instead of putting your foot on the brake and pushing the button, you'll leave your foot on the ground and you'll just push the button and hold it for 10 to 15 seconds and the vehicle will turn on all the accessories. So going through here you can see your driver information center. Right now we got our speedometer on there. The left wand here, about an inch in, you're going to have a dial. You can scroll up or down. So we got our speedometer. Navigation, if the vehicle is equipped. If it's not equipped to navigation, it's still going to have that icon just because it's a standard, standard screen there. Trip timer, which you can reset by pushing your buttons on here. You got your average vehicle speed, instant and average fuel economy, your fuel range to, uh, based on how many miles per gallon you're getting what you're driving, your trip calculators, and then back to the speedometer. Pushing your menu button about two, three inches in on the one is going to bring you to the vehicle information menu. So you're going to have your units, you're going to be able to check your battery voltage, you're going to have your oil life. We're going to give you two years of free maintenance with this vehicle. It's going to be oil changes, tire rotations, and multi-point inspections. It's four visits within that 24, uh, 24,000 or two-year period. Uh, we do recommend six months, 6,000 miles, or when this says 20%. Scrolling again here, you'll be able to see each individual tire. So you'll be able to tell if the vehicle's pulling the left, pulling the right, click over to the screen, see if it shows that you're down at 15 instead of 2830, where you're supposed to be at. And then back to your units. So we'll push the menu button, we'll just bring it back to the trip and fuel information and leave it at the speedometer there. All of your headlights are going to be on the left side of the dash over here, it's a dial. So you can see toggling it over to the left, it's going to say auto control off. Auto control back on if I click it back. Your fog lamps are going to be pushing the button in to turn them on. You can see it illuminates up on the dash here. So we'll turn those back off. When your lights are on, you have a little dial you can hold up or down. It's going to go ahead and dim this out or make it brighter. So at night, you don't want it as bright. You can turn it down or during the day, if it's harder to see, turn it all the way back up. Uh, going over to the, dry, uh, to the radio here, it is all touchscreen. So you can turn around and press your home button here. You got the home button up on the side. It brings everything up. Now playing will bring you back to the current radio settings. This one is equipped with navigation. So you can see up on the side here, we can click that. And now we've got our navigation pulled up. Pressing the home button here again. We got our phone. You can pair up to five phones with the vehicle for the Bluetooth. But it'll also stream media if you have music on your phone as well. AM, FM, XM. The vehicle will play Pandora account if you have a Pandora account on your phone. As well as Stitcher. You have your CD player in this, USB and auxiliary, located right inside the center console here on the left, and then a 12 volt on the right. Like I said, your Bluetooth. You got your tone settings for your Pioneer premium sound system in this vehicle. All your configuration settings for the vehicle. Destination, along with the navigation. And then text messaging. So if anybody's going to be texting you while you're driving, if you're parked at a complete or at a complete stop, um, you can read your text messages on the screen. While you're driving, you can click listen, you can dismiss them, you can reply um, with generic messages. You can't just go and type your own unless you're parked. You can go and create one and then use that to send it back. Or you can um, hit call back and it'll call the person back for you. Weather, movies, and fuel pricing, it all comes with our XM service. So you're going to get that free for three months unless stated otherwise with the vehicles. Uh, once your XM service is gone or done, you do lose those three options. So XM, it's nice. You get some uh, commercial free radio, but you also get these other features on here. And then with the pictures, you're able to put pictures up on the screen through the USB uh, import on, inside the center console. Back to next, and now playing brings us right back to the radio. And you can see all on the bottom here, we have the stations that we like to listen to. You got the corresponding buttons at the bottom to push and save them. So pushing and holding five, it'll say saved. Or if I want to push and hold it on the screen, it'll do the same thing. Again, I'm Brian Krupski. I'm one of the sales and leasing consultants over here at Philip Chevrolet in Frankfurt. Stop on by.